Hey there everyone, this is Carrie with uh, Any Day Blessings and today I wanted to just uh, take a few minutes to go over how we use Answers for Kids, uh, this little six book set from Masterbooks. I only have five books up here because one is on my um, coffee table downstairs, but I will go through how we use it and why it's sitting down there. Before I hop into that, I just wanted to thank you all for um, the great feedback and the wonderful response to my last Masterbooks. A walkthrough that I did for you. Um, that video was so well received. I got lots of comments, lots of messages about how helpful it was and I'm thrilled to hear that. That was my goal to make you all feel confident and answer your questions so that you could make those purchases um, without fear that you were going to be wasting your money or that it wasn't going to be a fit for you. I was just trying to really show you how we use it, what's in it, and all the different um, ways that you could implement it into your home and I'd like to do something similar with this little series because I do see a lot of questions come through about how to use these if you don't get the accompanying teacher guide the um, the schedule and all the worksheets and all of that we just have these books we do not have the accompanying uh, teacher guide so um, I can tell you how we use it and hopefully uh, that will give you all some ideas or maybe even just duplicate what we do in your home if that would work for you all in the description below, I will put a link to the Masterbook website where you can find these. Um, just in interest of being forthright, it is a referral link. It is um, the same link that any customer can get when they shop at Masterbooks. So if you have a neighbor or um, a BFF that um, uses Masterbooks, they will have a referral link. So you can ask them before you put, put, put in an order, hey, what's your, do you have a referral link to Masterbooks? And they do because every single customer has one. So I am not in any kind of professional way affiliated with Masterbooks. I'm a homeschool mom like many of you that are watching and I wasn't asked to do this review. I wasn't sent these materials. I'm just letting you know that um, the link below is my referral link. If you choose to make a purchase on it, I will receive, like every other customer, <laughs> I will receive um, curriculum credit or, or um, product credit that I can then purchase more master books and show them all to you guys. So that's what that is in the comments or in the description below. So just wanted to get that out there. And um, if you choose to purchase this or anything else from master books, please come back to the review that kind of helped you. I, I like hearing that feedback. It, it kind of is encouraging to me to keep on <laughs> making these videos. They kind of are um, time consuming and, and somewhat um, hard to make sometimes. It depends on how well the kids are entertained when I come up here to do this. So um, that little bit of feedback from you all is so encouraging and it just it really does help me continue to make these style of videos. So if it's helpful, um, please like the video, something so that I know that these are helpful to you all. Okay, let's get into it. All that stuff done. So these little books are called Answers for Kids and they're um, put out by Masterbooks as you can see back here, and they're authored by Ken Ham. I believe all of them are authored by Ken, Ken Ham. And then there are some other, um, the last couple had Bodie Hodge on them. Um, but they, I think, were originally um, part of, or put out by, um, oh, what's it called? Answers in Genesis. And then when Master Books kind of got those publishing rights, then now they are the ones that put these out. So. I'm not sure if these were ever out before Masterbooks got them or not, but I have to tell you that this particular Masterbooks edition is just so pretty. Um, these are just beautiful. There's real photography in here. Okay, these are just beautiful. And this is how we use them in our home. We take uh, one book at a time and we have it on our coffee table. We actually do uh, Bible snuggles is what we call it. We do Bible snuggles or Bible tying separate from our school day. We do not, um, we, we actually make an effort to not treat it like a school subject for now. We have very young kids and we, we want to make that distinction. Now certainly there is a place for um, academic study of God's Word. It's, it's a literary work, it's a historical work, um, there's, there's much to learn academically from it as well and uh, spiritually when you uh, study things like um, 
um, the history of Israel and um, how, how God showed such tremendous patience with them and how um, he continually was faithful to them. I mean, there's so many uh, different spiritual lessons that you could learn by applying an academic study process to studying God's Word. I'm not discounting that and I'm not criticizing that. However, in these early years, what we mainly want to foster with our kiddos is the idea of relationship with the Lord, relationship with His Word, that His book is special and set apart from every other book that we would study during um, school time. So I don't have these in my school books bins. I don't have these. This is not on my checklist. Bible time is not on my checklist of, of things to do for the school day. We keep it separate. And so part of doing that is storing these little books somewhere else. And so we actually leave these where my kids can get at them anytime. They love these books. When my son got these, he just kept opening these up. Look what this question is, mom. Oh my goodness, did you know this? And he's like just going on and on looking through these books. They love them. And the one that we're not working on for Bible time, well, we'll all, the ones that, that we're not working on um, during Bible time, we will often find the rest of them scattered around their playroom or the couch or their own room. They take these all over the house and they just love to read them. But we have one at a time that we have on our coffee table and uh, I'll grab my Bible or my son will bring his Bible out and we will sit down it takes us about 10 minutes every day and we will read the question. My son will read the question right here. Right now his big thing is he's really interested where everyone is from, you know, where uh, where the little kids are from. And when they're from a country that's not familiar to him, we got to get off the globe and see where the kid is from. So that's kind of fun. But um, my son will read the question and then um, I will... Um, have him look up this verse that's on top here. So you see there's a verse that's printed off. It's kind of in italics. That's the, that's the main supporting verse to provide the answer. So there are other verses down here at the bottom. As you can see, sometimes there's just one. Oh, let me get to another page here where there's a couple verses because often there's a couple verses given for further study. Uh, but we will just look up this one for um, for now, we might get into looking up the other verses as they grow. But for right now, we just I have my son look up this verse in his Bible and read it to me. Now, yes, it's printed off here, but I'm trying to get him to learn. He's eight. He just turned eight. And I'm trying to get him to learn um, where to find the books of the Bible. So uh, he will look this verse up and read it. And then I will read the accompanying explanation here that, that's given. And then go back to the verse and and describe how it answers the child's question. So, like I said, all of 10 minutes maybe, we typically will sing uh, the books of the Bible song um, that we kind of play from YouTube. Or um, I'll ask my kids if there's a song in Sunday school that they learned this week that's new, they want to they wanna practice. Or if the question and answer brings to mind uh, a hymn or song that we sing even in um, adult worship. I will teach it to them. I have a hymnal here. So we kind of just bring all that together about 10 minutes or so and that's how we use these books. One question a day. My son looks up the verse. I read the answer. We sing and pray and are done. And that's how we walk through these. You know, I don't really ask too many questions um, unless I see like a furrowed brow or my son asks questions, you know, then I might have some follow-up questions to that. But I really don't, um, right now, at, at their ages, I'm, I feel like I'm trying to um, teach the habit of being in God's Word and not so much the content. Um, yes, content matters, <laughs> and we do teach them what God's Word says. And we're memorizing scripture and we're um, explaining that to them the best we can. And we're talking about God throughout our day and how we see his hand throughout our day. But during this particular time, I want it to be a, a, um, a delightful time that they're looking forward to that really builds our relationship as uh, mother and children and also starts to develop that love for 
um, this time with their Heavenly Father and, and that relationship. So um, I don't really ask a ton of questions. I might just say, what do you think? Or, or um, is there any questions that you have? Or is there anything you want to say about what Mommy read? Do you think that answers the question? Do you, do you think that that, that explains uh, what that child wanted to know? Something like that will be pretty much the, the heart of what I do in that time. So that's how we use it. One question a day, answer, verse, song, that's it. And it's, it's really been a delightful time. I let my kids take turns uh, opening up to the page and who gets to hold the Bible while mommy reads and you know, that kind of stuff. All those little things really do mean a lot to my kids. I, I wouldn't have thought that they did, but they do. And um, uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to when they will read these books on their own and use them in their own uh, study time. And this right now is just kind of preparing them to do that. So I hope this was helpful to you. I hope it gives you some ideas of ways that you could use it in your home. If you have this little set and you are not using the uh, accompanying teacher guide, and you have some suggestions for what to do, I would love to hear those below. Or if you have follow-up questions to maybe some of the things I shared, um, I would be happy to answer those as well. Again, the link will be in the description below. You can use that to find these and anything else that Masterbook sells. And if there is something uh, that you've seen on my channel that I use, that you would like me to do one of these how do you use it style of videos, please let me know because um, obviously I have a lot of curriculum. <laughs> I have a lot of things that we use and so I never know what to show you. So let me know if there are certain things that you would like to see and I will get these um, how we use it type of things together for you, okay? All right, I'm gonna wrap this up and uh, I will see you in the comments section, bye-bye.